You know, Gary Lineker recently went into his local Marks and Spencer and got a standing ovation just like this. Now, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but he spoke to the Daily Telegraph today and talked about how, when that row was happening, when he had spoken up for the rights of migrants and refugees, some of the most vulnerable people coming into this country, that his local RMS, the epitome of Middle England, a great British company, and he got a standing ovation just like that beautiful and moving one I just gave him. Now, that's the truth, that <laughs> actually in this country, people are far more on the side of progressive thoughtful people like Gary Lineker than they are the hateful right-wing zealots that try and attack migrants building a new life in this country. In fact, Gary Lineker went further and he said that he considers it a compliment to be called woke. Well, Gary, as someone who's been dubbed the wokest man in Britain, I agree with you. And that's the real nature of this country. People love Gary Lineker and they love the BBC. It's why I'm so proud of the BBC and I think that we should give it more money because it's the fabric that holds this country together. So, Gary Lineker, I think you're a hero and I hope that the rest of my Saturday Five will join me in a, a standing ovation for Gary. I don't think so. I yeah, might I do it. I'm going to do it just stop oil and get on the floor. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll tell I'd rather card, put my hands actually. to the motorway.